Welcome to the podcast. This is your host, Seth Green. Today, I got the good fortune to be interviewing David McKnight, best-selling author of The Power of Zero, How to Get to the Zero Percent Tax Bracket and Transform Your Retirement. David, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks, Seth. Appreciate you having me. Our pleasure. So let's go back in time a little bit. What inspired you to write The Power of Zero? Well, uh, interesting thing, if you go back even further in time from when I wrote the book, back to 1999, Bill Clinton stood before the nation in his final State of the Union, and he said, I got great news. We only have $5 trillion of debt, and we have budget surpluses for the next 23 years. So as far as the eye can see, we've got budget surpluses. So everybody thought, you know, it's going to be smooth sailing. Well, um, by about 2010, there was a guy named David Walker he was a former comptroller general of the federal government. He was running around the country like, uh, you know, with his hair on fire, warning people about the dire straits that the country was in. And it was not just the debt that it accumulated by 2010, but it was the debt that it would likely accumulate uh, moving into the future. So um, I took a page out of David Walker's book and studied a lot of other experts and realized that we were on a debt trajectory as a country that didn't really add up. And... Um, People were warning about how tax rates, specifically David Walker tax rates, would have to double in the future or we could go broke as a nation. So I began to ask myself the question, why, if this really is the case, if the math sort of bears this out, why are the majority of Americans still saving the lion's share of their retirement savings in tax deferred vehicles like 401ks and IRAs? After all, it's a bit like going into a business partnership with the IRS and every year they get to vote on what percentage of your profits they get to keep, not an awesome uh, business partnership. So I wrote The Power Zero as a way of talking about how Americans can sort of have a paradigm shift and start saving dollars in the right types of accounts to shield themselves against an eventual rise in, in tax rates over time. Awesome. And when you were writing it, did you ever foresee the runaway bestseller it would become? No, I, I I really didn't. I wrote it in 2013, published it in 2014, threw it out on Amazon. I self-published it, um, threw it on Amazon, crossed my fingers and just sort of hoped for the best. And um, it exceeded all my wildest expectations. It got picked up by Penguin Random House in 2018 and uh, spawned a couple of sequels. So really, uh, and I think at the end of the day, sort of started this retirement revolution in terms of tax-free retirement planning. So it exceeded all my wildest expectations and I'm just glad to be a part of it. Yes, I believe uh, my last count is probably wrong, but I think you're at 300, 400,000 copies sold. That is most books don't even, you know, sell a thousand copies on the shelves of Barnes and Noble. So obviously you tapped into something um, very, very critical. Um, now you also, in addition to writing the book, you also help financial advisors and RIAs and insurance agents help their clients get to the zero tax bracket in retirement. How did the financial services program come about? Well, really, I realized uh, pretty early on that my message could reach, um, you know, a certain subset of the American population. But if I had a bunch of advisors all across the country who were sort of advocates for my type of retirement planning, that they could actually um, we cover a lot more ground. And so uh, even today, we've got about 250 uh, certified powers here, advisors across the country who are constantly beating, you know, beating the drum over the reality of future tax rates and um, how we have to sort of turn the traditional retirement paradigm on its ear. Conventional wisdom says, get the deduction today, postpone the payment of the tax until some point down the road. We're, we're turning that whole paradigm on its ear and you need some manpower to be able to pull that off. And so uh, 250 advisors across the country are helping me with that. And uh, of course, I've got a YouTube channel, but lots of different ways we're trying to get that message out. Congratulations. That is a incredible, incredible results so far. Now, when you provide some educational components, right, you help advisors learn how to communicate this, how to illustrate it, um, how to present it. What are some of the most common challenges your advisors are running into when trying to convert people into the power of zero system? I'd say that easily the, the single greatest challenge that they run into is that at the end of the day, when you want to put money into the tax-free bucket, be it a Roth IRA, Roth 401k, Roth conversion, what have you, you got to be willing to pay a tax. And we try to make the case to people that 
you if you pay a tax today, you're doing so at historically low tax rates versus postponing the payment of that tax until a point in the future when tax experts have warned tax rates are likely to be much higher. But notwithstanding all of the math that we have on our side, notwithstanding all of the experts that have given testimony as to the the sort of the apocalyptic apocalyptic outlook for our, our country's debt situation, people are still very reluctant to pay that tax because uh, basically what we're saying is, look, pay a tax in advance of when the IRS requires it of you. So preemptively pay a tax. And that's a tough pill to swallow for a lot of Americans. I literally had this debate with a client yesterday who said, I want to sock 80 grand away in the next four years. I want to put it in my 403B. I want to reduce my taxable income. And I said, you're paying tax on the acorn. I'd rather pay tax on the acorn than the oak tree. That money's going to grow when you take it out. Tax rates are going to be high. I'm going to make less money. I'll pay less tax. Yes, you'll make a little bit less money, but tax rates are going to go up. No, no, no. I'm not doing that. I'm just socking my money away. That's what I want to do. And I mean, what do you say to somebody like that? Well, I mean, most of the time um, when they're not convinced, I mean, I, I, I created a whole documentary with the express purpose called The Powers Here, The Tax Train is Coming, with the express purpose of convincing people that were on the fence about where tax rates are going to be in the future. Uh, you know, the whole documentary is 75 minutes just of me and 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 the the movie director Doug Orchard interviewing all of the most important experts in the nation about the national debt as it relates to the future of tax rates, and they're all sort of reading the same music and they're all singing the same song. They're saying, if we don't change course as a country, tax rates will have to rise dramatically, or we go broke as a nation. Some of them even use the D word as it relates to the future of tax rates. Tax rates have to double, or we go broke as a nation, and so. Um, really, if they're not convinced that tax rates are going up, they just haven't studied history. They haven't studied what the experts are saying. And I think I feel like it's it's my job. It's the job of the powers of your advisor to sort of bring to bear all of this evidence that shows that the math doesn't lie and um, tax rates have nowhere to go but up. What uh, talk a little bit. You are helping advisors get the word out and beat the drum, as you say. Um, how are some of the, what are some of the resources? How are some of the ways that you're facilitating advisors getting, you know, having that conversation with clients and bringing new folks in the door with your message? So one of the ways is we have a, um, so as we've discussed, I wrote the powers here in 2014 and 2016 or so I created a, a retirement workshop around the concepts that are in the power zero. And um, so as of right now, those 250 powers of your advisors that we've talked about all across the country, they teach that workshop. It actually takes place in colleges and universities all across the country. It's a two-night class. And those advisors teach retirees and pre-retirees uh, for six hours over two nights, uh, the concepts in the power zero, how to transition your assets from taxable to tax-free. And um We've been doing that for about eight years. So that's probably the single greatest um, means by which our advisors are, are getting the word out. You created a documentary. Ever tried like do, showing it in movie theaters, like a movie premiere and renting it out and having people bring their people? Yep. Yep. We've been doing that for a while. But now, in fact, when the movie premiered, it was shown in something on the order of like 300 different movie theaters across the nation. So um, advisors... Uh, actually, you know, they bought out entire movie theaters. They showed the movie. It was a really eerie feeling for me seeing myself on the movie screen for the very first time. I never thought that would happen. Um, but anyway, um, so, so yeah, they've been doing that for eight years and with great success because guess what, when it's on the silver screen and you see all these experts that are, that are, that are, you know, giving testimony on what the fiscal outlook of the country really is, that's pretty sobering, but it's also pretty convincing. What have been some of the challenges you've encountered along the way and what'd you learn from them? Challenges, um, you know, especially now that I've gotten into YouTube, um, there's always the, the, the loan critic that wants to troll you. Um, I've actually ruffled the feathers of quite a few financial gurus over the year. I've, I've had uh, Clark Howard who took, you know, took a, put a whole article on their webpage on the power zero and why they disagreed with it. There's a guy called the white coat investor. We got into a series of blog battles over the years. I'm not inherently a confrontational sort of a guy, but when you tell people that, you know, if 95% of America 
has the lion's share of their retirement savings in the wrong bucket. And you're out there telling people that they've got their retirement savings in the wrong bucket. You're going to ruffle quite a few feathers. And I've done that a fair amount uh, over the years. I'm taking direct aim at Dave Ramsey because Dave Ramsey tends to preach a lot of things that run counter to what I talk about in, in my book. And so I've done videos and that, of course, rankles a lot of the the, the Dave Ramsey acolytes. So I, I tend to, um, by, by taking my message out into the world, I tend to ruffle feathers, but you know, that's part of the, that's part of the deal. What your passion's obvious. What do you like best about what you're doing? I love getting the email from the advisor who says, look, ever since I started uh, implementing uh, your strategies, you know, it's changed my life. And then I get uh, emails from their, from their clients who say ever since, you know, we started following your principles, um, it's really sort of radically transformed how we look at retirement and mitigated all of these risks that we didn't even realize that we had. So just the, the gratifying part is just seeing people advisor, whether they're advisors or their clients, um, you know, change their outlook on their retirement or their careers in the case of advisors by implementing some of these strategies. I'm just grateful to be part of the whole movement. Awesome. For our folks watching and listening who want to learn more, where is the best place for them to go get the book and where is the best best place for them to go to learn about the advisor program? If you want to learn about the advisor program, head over to powersyear.com and the best place to buy the book in onesies and twosies is just to get it right off of Amazon. All right. This has been Seth Green with David McKnight. David, we know your time's incredibly valued. Thank you so much for spending some of it with us. My pleasure. Thank you everyone for watching or listening. We'll talk to you or see you next time.